Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars figure review. Continuing on with the Vintage Saga collection figures, we're going to take a look at some Return of the Jedi characters now. And the first one that I want to give you a look at is sort of a fit. He's a well, you no know, sort of about it really. Here's a figure that I have given you so many reviews of over the past few years um, that I'm starting to get bored of this guy now. I'm only joking. Um, the first time I ever reviewed this guy, he was part of the Vintage Saga collection, although I didn't show you the figure in the packaging. So that's the main aim of this review today. Um, but I've also reviewed him as part of the 30th Anniversary Collection Saga Legends line. So if you just want to have a look at various packaging for this figure, then you know go back on my channel and you can check them all out. So the figure itself is this guy. This is, of course, the Return of the Jedi Biker Scout. And out of the entire Vintage Saga collection, this is probably the figure that I would not change for the world because every single part of him is absolutely awesome. So I'll get on to uh, his pros and uh, minor cons in just a bit. But first up, as I said, we are going to take a look at the packaging that he comes in. Now once again, you have some awesome retro looking packaging for this guy. We've got the Return of the Jedi logo up at the top and a very cool image of the Biker Scout in action on the card and obviously the Biker Scout is encapsulated in his plastic prison on the front. He is once again in a protective star case which has the Saga Collection logo at the front and on the back you have an image of the original vintage figure from 1983 you've also got the vintage collection description at the side and the rest of the wave pictured across the bottom so very very nice packaging for this guy and uh, as I said this is the main aim of this review just to give you a look at the card artwork and how he looks in the box so there he is now the figure itself as I said it's something that I wouldn't change for the world because he is just so so good um, articulation on this guy sculpt detail paint applications everything is just awesome and uh, this is a figure that Hasbro thought was so good they've re-released it so many times I've lost count um, the most recent, I believe, is in the Blu-ray commemorative sets. And it's just a straight repack of this figure because he really doesn't need anything doing to him to make him better. Um, he doesn't have a removable helmet, although there is a variation of this figure that was available in a commemorative tin set where you had the flip-up mask, um, which is a figure that I wouldn't mind picking up. Um, you know, just because it adds a little bit of variety to the Scout Trooper ranks. Um, but in terms of the figure itself, as I said, absolutely great, love it. Um, articulation, he has a ball jointed neck, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows and swivel forearms. He has a ball jointed torso, swivel hips, ball hinged knees and ball hinged ankles. In terms of accessories, he's a little bit on the light side, no pun intended, and he has the uh, traditional Biker Scout blaster in his hand, which can be removed and placed in the holster on the side of his boot. And speaking of his boots, as you can see, he has some fantastic weathering on those, which just looks great and really adds to the feel of the figure. So yeah, as I said, something that I would not change at all. This is a figure that I could see you know, being released 10 years down the line and not needing anything to change it because it's just awesome. So uh, certainly a figure that I would recommend picking up if you're a uh, Biker Scout fan or a troop builder or whatever. Perfect figure for your collection, and one that gets the Sith Lord 229 seal of approval. So I hope you've enjoyed having a look at this figure, and I'll be back with one more review from this line soon. Stay tuned for that, and until next time, keep collecting, and may the Force be with you.